hi guys how y'all doing today welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch this video if you're a new subscriber thank you so so much for joining this family and if you've been here you're the real mvp so guys today's video i'm going to be talking about why it's important to create packages in your photography business if this is the kind of content you're interested in keep watching Okay, so um, the other day I was talking to a photographer, yeah, and I was asking him, like, what do you charge? And he said, it depends. So I'm like, okay, depends on what he said, it depends on on the, the person's budget and all of that. And I asked him, okay, do you have like packages? He's like, no, he doesn't have it. If we meet somebody and if he sees the person, you just size the person. This person is like, this person has. A nice car, uh, you now give the person the price, or oh, this person is trekking, you now give the person the price. And I just thought, okay, let me do a video about this. I, of course, I told him that I would suggest you have packages that you know that this is this is how much and how much I charge for this, 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 and this. And I've also met photographers that when you ask them what they charge, they'll just give you one flat rate. Some of them have like um, rates per look. Like I charge 20k per look or I charge 100k per look, which is also fine. And um, some don't even charge per look, which is the one I even have a problem with. The people that just have one package. When I, when I was starting out, I used to be that photographer. There was a point where um, at some point in my, in my photography year, there are times when I would just come do everything do your shoot and everything then you say how much and i say okay pay this then they will now negotiate negotiate and agree on a certain amount that's a very wrong practice and then there are times when i would um you say okay i want you to come to my house I, we have three outfits um this, this is i'll say okay pay this amount and then i'll give you this amount of pictures and then the person will now negotiate and all of that <coughs> sorry guys so um i think i did a video about the turning point for me, what made, what prompted me to create packages in my video. I'm going to, in my business, I'm going to link it in this video. And it was a whole, like, you watch that if you can, if you can, please watch that video so you can get the, con the, the context of why I had to create packages. So now I decided to do this video because I know that there are some photographers out there that are limiting themselves to just that one package when there's the opportunity to make a whole lot more so let's say you have a package you say you're for your for your family portraits i charge hundred thousand or i charge fifty thousand and that's what you charge and maybe under that you say okay this fifty thousand is for three outfits 15 images and um maybe three outfits and 15 images for two hours and that's all you have as your package i feel like that's quite limiting you're limiting yourself if you go that route how about if you have other options you have the 50k package you have the 100k package you have the 200k package most people like um i know that there's a school of thought that says you should have like three packages and maybe in your heart of hearts the middle package is where you want to be that's the that's where you want your clients the package where your clients to buy but you can also have um the medium the middle package the beginning package and then the, the last one so you have the one that is not as expensive as the middle one and then the middle one and then the higher one i hope that makes sense so you know how you you <clears throat> you meet a client what do you charge you send them your your rates and you have different options the people that can afford the higher one should be able to have something more to pay for i really need you guys to understand this because this totally changed the game for me and it has helped other photographers as well people have had conversations with about this so if you say it's just 50k you do for your family shoot, this is what happens. The least you can, the more you can, the, the, at most you make that 50k or maybe they pay for one or two extra images and then you just make maybe 60k or, or whatever. I don't know how much you charge. So you just make a little, a little above that 50k because that's all you've given your clients. How about if you have a 50k package? A 150k package and maybe a 300k package. Just, just name it. Think of the highest package you would want to create. Even if nobody books it for a year, it's still fine. But just put it there. Somebody one day would book it. 
and you make a lot of money and you'll be amazed that there are pe people out there that are actually willing to spend a whole lot more than you can imagine so if you don't even give them that room to spend that you're limiting yourself so you have just that one package yeah you're definitely limiting yourself to just that one package if you have multiple packages say three or four packages the people that can afford the, the lowest, lowest package will come to you the people that can afford the highest package will also come to you you know the barest minimum you can go i i know the barest minimum i can go i, I know the least amount of money i can take for a shoot you will know what you can take but then there's room for create a create a let me let me let me ginger you to create a one million package even if nobody picks this it's fine but you have it there the day that maybe wiki will reach out to you to for you to photograph him and wiki is a big boy he he has money to spend let there be a packet that will be befitting for him on your price list. The day that um, Atiku or one of those people that have a lot of money when will come to you, let there be something that they can spend their money on on your price list. Don't limit yourself to just that one 50k or one 200k package. You should have other options for your clients. There should be room for you to make a whole lot more. So, um, the reason I decided to do this is that I know that there's somebody out there that is limiting his or herself. His or herself. Am I right? <laughs> there's somebody out there that is just stuck on that one package. You can do a, a whole lot more. I had a conversation with another photographer that she was also doing something similar. She just had that one, one package that just comes with soft copies. And I said, why don't you create other options that will come with frames or enlargement? Um, sorry, frames and enlargement, same thing with frames or like um, a photo book or something, just add a little more value to another package and then see if it will sell. You, you're, you're, you're going to definitely make more and people would still see the value in the higher package. So let's say you have a 200K package. Now that 200K package comes with a photo book. I do photo books for portrait sessions. Some photographers don't even believe that anybody wants to do photo book for portrait sessions, but I do. And that makes, that helps me to make more money. So if, if I'm adding, let's say I'm adding an extra 100k to the package, to the, to the existing package and I add a photo book to it, maybe a small photo book. It may not cost me more than maybe 30, 40k to do the photo book, but I've added 100k and I've made an extra maybe 60 or 50k for that package. So if I did not even create that package that has a photo book, I won't even make that extra money that I just made. I'll just keep making the money for the soft copies. Do you understand what I mean? So create other avenues for you to make money in your business, in your photography business. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. I feel like I talk fast sometimes. So please let me know in, your, in the comment section if you understand, if, if what I'm saying makes sense. Let me, let me know, please. Your comments will mean a lot to me. So yeah, um, I, I, I'm encouraging you to think about the biggest package ever that your mind can take and just put it on your, on your list. You should have maybe three packages, four packages. I think I have four or five. I'm not even sure right now, but I have options and the range is from a certain amount to like something really high. Even if in a year, nobody picks that very high one, it's still fine. But wh what about the day that somebody will just wake up and want to pick that one? Let me have room for that person. Do you get what I mean? So with these few points of mine, I hope I have not confused you, but I have convinced you. <laughs> Create packages. Today. and let me know how that goes thank you so so much guys for staying to the end of this video please subscribe to my channel like this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll see you in my next video guys bye